When you pull a spring, you will notice that the greater you pull, the harder it becomes to pull it further. Did you know that this phenomenon can be explained using Hooke's law? Let us understand the concept behind it. Elasticity is an important mechanical property of matter. It depends on intermolecular or atomic forces and the crystal structure of the substance. A British scientist named Robert Hooke experimentally discovered that upon suspending weights on a spring-like object, the increase in its length is proportional to the weight suspended. By suspending weights at one end of the wire with the other end suspended to a rigid support, we can determine the increase in the length of the wire with the help of a scale. Such an experiment shows that for a given weight, the increase in the length of a wire is directly proportional to its length and inversely proportional to the area of its cross-section. Also, the increase in the length of the given wire is directly proportional to the suspended weight. Based on these results, another British scientist, Thomas Young, demonstrated in 1807 that the weight or load and the increase in length can be described in a very simple way with the help of two physical quantities named stress and strain. First, we talk about stress. The force or weight acting on the unit area of the cross section of a body is known as stress. If the force or the weight applied on the wire is W and this force acts on A, the area of cross section of the wire, then the stress is given by sigma E equals W upon A. The unit of stress is Newton per meter square. The increase in the length of wire depends on stress and not on W and A independently. For the given stress, the increase in the length of wire L depends on the original length L of the wire. This fact takes us towards a dimensionless physical quantity strain equals L upon L. Young showed that Hooke's law in terms of stress and strain can be represented as stress is directly proportional to strain. Therefore, sigma E equals Ye. Here, the constant of proportionality Y is known as Young's modulus of the given wire. Let us summarize what we have learned. We understood that elasticity is an important mechanical property of matter. We saw that by suspending weights on a wire which is fixed at the other end, its length gets increased. We learned about the stress and strain and understood how Young showed the Hooke's law in terms of stress and strain. We found that the constant of proportionality, Y, is known as Young's modulus of the given wire. We have learned that Young's modulus is the constant of proportionality between the linear stress and the linear strain of a material. And this Young's modulus is one of the three types of elastic modulus. Stay tuned to explore the other types of elastic modulus as well. Keep imbibing. We believe in you.